It's Friday night, I shoot a promo video for 617 in the 400. This was a special Belair Lux champagne party. A lot of bottles popping, a lot of fun. I haven't shot a promo video in a while. Um, they're fun. You get to capture people dancing, having fun, having a good time, popping bottles. Um, lots of fun, lots of fun. Saturday morning, I headed to Brooksby Apple Farm with uh, my family. So I had never gone apple picking with my parents before. Um, I took them for the first time. It was a beautiful day out, lots of fun. I was planning on picking a bunch of uh, Fuji and Matsu apples, those are Japanese apples, two of my favorites. My mom is a really avid gardener, uh, so I thought she would be excited, but <laughs> I wasn't prepared for how excited she was going to be. Um, I feel sort of like a bad son. Uh, I kind of wish I took my mom apple picking before this year. So Saturday night, um, again, typical with my family, at uh, very last second, my mom tells me that um, there's dinner at my aunt's place. Um, so of course I can't turn down a big Chinese family dinner, so um, I was excited to go, catch up with my family. I show up and there's a huge, huge platter of food, like it's Chinese New Year or some you know big holiday, but it's just, it's just dinner, so it's cool. Um, there's maybe a dozen dishes and plenty of seafood and lots of roast pork and duck and all the good Chinese food basically. Sunday afternoon, watch the Pats game. I was a little worried in the first half. Game was closer than I thought. I knew the, I knew the Bengals would play us hard. Um, things seemed to settle down in the second half. Gronk exploded. Um, it got a little testy there and near the end of the game. So Sunday night, I had this reservation for this sushi pop-up at the Liquid Art House. The sushi pop-up was by Chris Chung, Sang Lee, Pap Wangsacorn, I think. Sorry. I will try to be as discreet as possible when I'm taking photos in a restaurant. If at all costs, uh, silencing my shutter so there's no sound. And then almost and absolutely, absolutely. I refuse to take a photo in a restaurant with flash. Um, out of my peripheral vision, I see this guy, you know, I see a flash, I'm like, this guy really taking photos in a restaurant with a flash? And so not only was he using his flash on his pocket camera, but I mean, this guy brings a diffuser, this mini diffuser, and he's bouncing it off, which is a good technique to soften the light, but Kobe beef dumplings came out. Um, the broth was amazing. Uh, the Kobe beef was okay so the first dish was a sunomono with lobster uni and crab i mean the the major taste in that dish was uh, the uni it was um, it was amazing next there was some toro tartare with caviar um i thought the presentation of this was really nice uh, it looked looked really pretty next was the striped bass ceviche with grape unfortunately i found this dish a little bland compared to other ceviche dishes i've had so a little underwhelming Next was the lobster seared with duck and a little crab. Now based on the greetings alone, I, I didn't think it was possible for me to not enjoy this dish. So I, I thoroughly enjoyed this dish. Um, it was very rich, very flavorful. Next was a very traditional um, sushi presentation. Um, the sushi consisted of uni, toro, lobster, clam, and porgy, which was interesting. Um, I enjoyed all of them. I think I enjoyed probably the toro and the uni the most. Um, the last dish, which was dessert, was the Centauri Whiskey Custard. I thought this dish was great. Um, it wasn't too heavy, it was light, but it had a lot of nice flavors, uh, not too sweet. I, I like my sweets, but I don't like when they're too sweet. Um, so I thought this was a nice fitting end to my meal. So overall, the omakase was delicious. Fortunately, it was like every other omakase I've had. It was really good. There's a lot of variety. Absolutely delicious. And I left. And I left still hungry.